We have something new and exciting happening this Ooh. week around here. It's going to rain. Wow. It's finally <laughs> going to rain. Yeah, as we go from Thursday into Friday. Dry pattern, though, between now and then. And it is going to cool down a little bit midweek. And, you know, when you talk about rain, this rain coming in on Thursday is going to be one of those all day kind of soaking rain, something we have not seen in a good long while. September 21st was the last time we had a half an inch of rain in kind of one day. And so this is going to be super beneficial for the dry situation we have been in lately. Some of our computer models are actually generating an over an inch so we'll see how this plays out over the next couple of days but it is certainly going to be helpful with the drought which is severe right now in almost 70 percent of the state it would take us though over seven inches of rain to get to where we normally should be between september the first and now and that number is nine and a half inches that's our deficit out in the worcester area so we need more but you know this will certainly help coming our way later this week now the radar this morning is actually picking up on a couple of sprinkles. These may even not even be reaching the ground, but that risk for a sprinkle out along the Route 2 corridor this morning. You can see they're coming off an area of showers, which is headed toward us, but kind of falling apart. So the best chance for a rain this morning is going to be out in the Berkshires. And as this shifts eastward, we might be able to catch a sprinkle out of it in the next few hours, and that's about it. 30s and 40s right now underneath some of those clouds that have worked on in. And you can see that risk for a sprinkle lingers through about 8, 9 o'clock this morning. And then look, there go the clouds. Sun is back this afternoon. Afternoon, and it is going to be a bright afternoon for us here as we see those temperatures come up a little bit. So uh, through mid morning, we'll keep it in the 40s with some clouds around. And then by 10 a.m., we're jumping into the 50s as the skies are brightening. It's right around 60 at noontime, and we will sneak into the low 60s this afternoon in a lot of spots, going for a high of 62 in Boston and Bedford, make it as mild as 65 in Norwood. So this is way above average for this time of year. Out on the Cape, I think mid 50s for you, and we'll be closer to 60 out through the Worcester Hill. But this is a cold front coming on through, so it's going to turn cooler behind it as we get toward the middle of the week, and so that's why our temperatures are trending down. Wind is going to pick up a little bit this afternoon. It will gust to around 20 miles per hour. So with the dry conditions, you add a little bit of wind. It's elevating the fire risk today. You know the drill by now, so just use some caution out there for sure. Mostly clear tonight. It will be chilly, 30s and 40s, and tomorrow is a bright, sunny day. But it is a little bit breezy and certainly cooler. No 60s tomorrow. We're talking about high temperatures holding in the 50s, so trending cooler but dry through the middle of the week. So this uh, area of rain that we're watching may get a little bump up with some tropical moisture from the remnants of Sarah, which kind of weakened over the Yucatan this weekend. But the computer model is still taking that tropical moisture north and getting it involved here in this frontal boundary, which is pressing toward us late week. And an area of low pressure may develop very close to us on Thursday, and that's what's going to slow this rain down and keep that soaking rain around Thursday, showers linger into Friday, and the upper level low is kind of hanging around into Saturday. So that means we could still have a spot shower on Saturday as well, but we are trending cooler. Notice those temperatures behind the rain only in the 40s here through the weekend. Slow improvements this weekend Saturday. I know we've got the parade in Plymouth, and I think it's overall a dry day, maybe okay. not totally dry. There is that risk of a spot shower, but going to be chilly, so we're going to have to bundle up this oh, year. Where are you Good Monday to you, starting off the week fairly mild. Temperatures are going to bounce back into the low 60s this afternoon with sunshine. We've got some clouds passing through this morning with the risk of a spotty sprinkle through mid-morning or so. It's a cold front coming on through, so we are cooling down tomorrow and Wednesday, keeping it dry, high temperatures settling back into the low to mid-50s the next couple of days. Finally, we are getting some rain, a soaking beneficial rain Thursday into Friday. It looks like about a half an inch to an inch. System slow to get out of here. It stays a little unsettled with a spot shower risk into Saturday. And a good Monday to you, starting off the week with just a little bit of rain. This is very light rain showers, in some cases just a sprinkle, especially south of the pike. Racing on through this morning, a closer look shows you most con concentrated here, Metro West up through the Merrimack Valley and the North Shore, even Boston getting in on this. When it came through Fitchburg, we actually picked up two hundredths of an inch of rain, so just enough to kind of wet the ground a little bit. Certainly we need more than this, but all associated with a cold front that is going to kick up the wind 
winds out of the northwest this afternoon and usher in some colder air tonight. So things will be cooling down, but we'll still manage to squeak out a pretty mild afternoon today as the clouds break by late morning. And we're talking about sunshine midday into the afternoon. Temperatures will jump up over 60 degrees for another day. We did it all weekend. We're going to do it again today. That is above average for this time of year. Near 60 out through the Worcester Hills with some upper 50s for you on Cape Cod. You will notice that breeze a little bit out of the northwest. It'll get gusting to around 20 miles per hour this afternoon. And with the still very dry ground, even with this little bit of light rain this morning, it's still very dry out there. So any wind elevates the fire risk, and that is going to be the case this afternoon. Keep that in mind. Skies will be clear tonight, and the winds are going to die down a little bit. The temperatures drop into the 30s and low 40s. The winds pick up again tomorrow, so it is a breezy day, but it's mostly sunny and not as warm as today. Instead of the 60s, look, tomorrow we're going to hold in the 50s, mid, even some upper 50s. Uh, so still fairly seasonable and a little bit above average, but not as mild as the past couple of days. And then our attention is going to shift to this front here off to the west, which is scooping up a little bit of tropical moisture down here in the Gulf, and that is going to work its way up toward us. This front may slow down as an area of low pressure develops nearby, and that means Thursday we are looking at a good soaking all day rain that is going to linger into Friday with some showers. The upper level low hanging around into the start of the weekend, so it does stay a little unsettled into Saturday as well. You can see there is the potential for a little bit of snow on the back side of this and the higher elevations, so definitely going to be cooling down behind this system too. But certainly what is going to grab all the headlines is the amount of rain that we're going to get out of this. Finally, looks like a good soaking. A half an inch to an inch of rain is likely with this, and you have to go back a couple of months. It was September 21st. That was the last time we had a rainfall event that brought us a half an inch of rain in Boston. So this is going to help a little bit with the drought, which is severe right now and close to 70% of the state, but it would take us more than seven inches of rain to catch up and more than nine inches of rain to catch up in Worcester uh, from the deficit that has been growing here since the 1st of September. So we need more, but we will take this rain Thursday into Friday behind it. Notice how those temperatures cool down only in the 40s through the weekend. Still a little unsettled on Saturday with the risk of a spot shower here. It wasn't from this that came through this morning. We've got a good soaking all day rain on the way Thursday. So we had just a couple of showers roll on through this morning, barely enough to kind of wet the ground, but they moved out so quickly and the sun came out behind them that um, we got this picture in from Saugus. You can see that rainbow right there. This was on Route 1 this morning at around 8, 830 this morning. So the rain was in, it was out, it was super light. We didn't even measure in Boston, but you can see just a few hundredths of an inch just northwest of town from Bedford to Fitchburg. So a little bit of rain this morning, but yeah, long gone now. We've got the sunshine out there and it's mild again. 60 degrees, that wind out of the northwest at 12 and it will be a little busy, but look how dry the air is. Dew point is down to 34 and the air quality is good in Boston. Austin, but that is not the case up on the North Shore. Look at this moderate air quality right now from Lynn to Danvers up toward Gloucester. This is, of course, where we have some pretty large wildfires burning, and it's an elevated risk for fires this afternoon as we have the wind and the dry air. And of course, that rain this morning didn't really do enough to wet the ground like we need. So just use caution out there. We've been doing this for a while. You can see the winds are gusting over 20 miles per hour once again, but look at the direction they're coming from now from the Northwest. That rain that came through this morning was associated with a quick moving weak cold front that really is shifting our winds. It didn't have a lot of moisture with it, but you can see the cooler air behind it. So it's only in the 40s right now, back over the Great Lakes, up into eastern Canada. And this is the air mass that is going to be settling in. So although it is mild this afternoon, it is going to be cooling down the next couple of days. So 60 right now, Boston to Bedford to Norwood, 62 New Bedford. We'll tack on a couple more degrees with the sunshine this afternoon in the low 60s. And then once the sun sets, we're going to start dropping through the 50s and eventually the 40s tonight. Our colder suburbs will be down in the 30s for overnight lows under mostly clear skies. Tomorrow is another sunny day. It is going to be breezy once again with a northwesterly wind about 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting a little bit higher. But notice it's cooler, not the 60s like today. We're talking about 50s tomorrow. So trending a little bit cooler, but dry through Wednesday. And then our focus is going to shift toward this front to our west, which is going to scoop up some of that tropical 
moisture and send it our way. And as the front kind of slows down with an area of low pressure developing very close to us, this is going to keep the rain going for a good portion of the day on Thursday. So that is what we need a soaking beneficial rain that falls primarily on Thursday. But because of the slow moving nature of this, we are going to see some lingering showers on Friday and the upper level low nearby on Saturday means we could still have the risk of a spot shower and it will be cold enough to the north and west for a little bit of snow in the higher elevations. So we're talking a widespread half an inch to inch of rain potentially and this is just one of our computer models. Some of them are predicting a little bit more. So this would be fantastic of course for the drought. It has been a long while since we have seen a half an inch of rain in Boston and just one event. You have to go back to September the 21st nearly two months ago 58 days. That was the last time we had a half an inch of rain in Boston from one event. So of course that's why we're in severe drought, which now covers nearly 70% of the state. It would take us more than seven inches of rain to catch up in Boston since the first of September. And look at that deficit. We are more than nine inches behind in Worcester. So we need more than one of these days of soaking rain, but we'll take that on Thursday. You can see showers do linger into Friday and it's a little unsettled on Saturday. Dry much of the day, but can't rule out a spot shower. But look at those temperatures behind the rain. We're talking highs only in the 40s here Friday right through the upcoming weekend. So November.